Hello everyone, happy Sunday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prophetic word for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not yet joining us, what in the world are you still waiting for? Come on, come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the information on the screen here. Link will be in the description box down below the title of the video. I also want to thank all of you who joined me for our Women of Valor Prayer Conference live on Friday. God bless you. I appreciate you so much. And if you missed the live, you missed a lot. So you want to go and catch the replay after this. I don't delete any of the lives so you can watch the replay for this month, the replay for last month, and plan to join us. Um, our next one is Friday, October 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on YouTube. But before then, this week, which is October 4th, Friday, October 4th, will be our Marriage and Relationship Boot Camp uh, prayer meeting, live right here on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Those who join know that this has been a blessing to them, and I don't want you to miss out on the blessing. So come join us, and uh, as you join us, I know your lives will be blessed, you'll be transformed, You'll be healed, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. Um, the Lord has given me a prophetic word today to share with you. And this is for someone who may be experiencing rejection or being overlooked or mistreated from those who should, or at least who should know better, or at least those who you think should know better. And the Holy Spirit says it may just be that you've, outgrown where you are. Mm, yes, you have outgrown those people. And when you've outgrown a space or a place or a people, you may experience rejection. You may experience disappointment. You may experience betrayal. Uh, all kinds of things will begin to happen. And many times it is a signal that God is trying to push you out so that you can grow, so that you can be stretched. And so this is not as a punishment, the Holy Spirit says, but that the glory of God may be revealed in your life. And so instead of seeing it as a sign that you're doing something wrong, it is in fact a sign that you're doing something right. Oh my goodness. It is a sign that you are doing something right because it's only a tree that bears fruit, that gets pruned so that it can bear much fruit, according to John chapter 15, verse 2. And so again, the Lord is highlighting Joseph's life. He's highlighting to me Jesus the Christ. Uh, and he says that the rejection, the disappointment, the betrayal, you know, that they experienced, although painful, was actually a catalyst for their purpose and ultimately their promotion. Hallelujah. And so when you're looking at your own life, you have to understand that this is also for you, that the rejection you have faced, the disappointment you have experienced, the betrayal you have experienced, the pain that you have gone through, the trauma that you have gone through, although may be painful, although may be horrible, the Lord is saying that it is a catalyst for your purpose. It is a catalyst for your promotion. And so the Holy Spirit says, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. And in due time, you will see that God was working it all out in your favor all along. This prophetic word will be for somebody, will be a confirmation for some of you of what the Lord has been telling you in your secret place. For some of you, this is a rhema word. However this resonates with you, I want you to know that God is intentional about every detail of your life. Uh, the Holy Spirit also led me to Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Some of you know the story about this verse for me personally, but he wants me to remind somebody because this perhaps is a verse that he has been speaking to you from lately. And he says, and we know with great confidence that God, who is deeply concerned about us, causes all things to work together as a plan for good for those who love God, to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. Ayana knows that here. Listen, the Lord is saying 
This is a, a season that you need to really open your eyes. And in, in fact, ask the Lord to open your eyes to really see and open your mind to really understand what he is doing. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, my God. We give you praise for this prophetic word. Thank you for speaking to our hearts. Thank you for the lives that you are touching even through this word. I give you praise and I pray that you continue to open the eyes of our understanding, that we may understand your ways, that we may know your thoughts because your thoughts are not ours, your ways are not ours, that we may understand what you are doing per time and per season in our lives. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We give you praise now for having answered, for you are the God who answers by fire in Jesus mighty name we are prayed amen amen and amen god bless you now if this prophetic word has blessed you make sure you subscribe make sure you share it make sure you give it a thumbs up to give it momentum on youtube and make sure you leave me your comment if you would like to do so and uh, don't forget to join us on our prayer line on tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m eastern standard time and watch out for prayer therapy uh session this wednesday by the grace of god also, don't forget to join me this week, Friday, the 4th of October at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on YouTube for our Marriage and Relationship Bootcamp Prayer Meeting. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.